Hi everybody, Rita here with Gma Reads Scrap Shack. So this little this little guy went viral yesterday. <laughs> I was never I'm I'm surprised that uh, everybody threw such a fit for it, but I, I'm not surprised because you know, like me, a lot of people like these tiny little micros, and this one was made with um, a snippet that Sue sent me. And now that everyone loves it so much, I've I've made a couple more, but um. So this is the one I promised to do a flip through um, of, and you guys, I don't, you can tell by the size of my hands, but this is so stinking small. Let me reach for the, let me reach for it. <laughs> let me, let me just measure it so people won't, you know, won't be too curious. It's not even an inch and a half wide, and it's literally two inches tall. The spine's a little thicker because, you know, I put five signatures in here, but it's barely an inch. Like, it's a little over an inch wide, I guess, or thick, I should say. The gator mouth on this is, like, if I let it go like this, it opens all the way, but if I squeeze it, yeah, it's a little over an inch, probably inch and a fourth. Anyway, just out of curiosity. So, here it is. Um, the inside of the cover, uh, I put some shabby chic um, sheet you know, a piece of sheet that I had that I, you know, tore up and made some ribbon out of. So in between the piece of snippet and the the sheet, there really is nothing other than this little ribbon right here that um, acts as the closure for the little um, the ribbon, you know, where you tie it. Here's a piece of material. Here is, um, originally this was probably like a little report card or something. <laughs> so I made a little flip corner. I don't know what those are called, but it just folds over for hidden journaling, I guess. And as you can tell, there's so much room in here for all of the journaling needs. Uh, the first person that was interested in this, I promised her that when I finished it, I would do a flip through and then she could purchase it if she, you know, so likes. So in the very first uh, tuck right here, I put a stamp. I'm pretty sure this is off the Happy Mail that I got from Scrap and Lizzie <laughs> because um, the envelope that she sent me, I saved the stamps. I usually do that. So here's a ladybug that was just in there because it's part of a um, oh, note paper. These were all made from scraps. She did ask me to add some lace, so I added like three pieces of lace and two pieces of this tiny little pom-pom trim just because when it's shut, it just looks so cute like that, you know? So anyway, uh, everything in here is coffee stained, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so in that first little, there's a little piece of, <laughs> it's like a piece of scrap, really, but it kind of looks like uh, maybe like a bookmark, maybe. So there's little pockets on each side. On all the signatures, I put two brass bells, so it's pretty full at the bottom. Here is the corner flip. It's layered. I can't believe I was able to do this. I, It is so stinking small, but yep, it's on there. And then here's a tiny little postcard that I put in the corner flip. <laughs> uh, there's graph paper in here. There's the pom-pom trim. I believe there's over 100 pages in this because in each signature I use 10 pieces of paper, so that's 20 pages times 5. <laughs> Here's another piece of that, um, I think it's a report card of some kind. Oh, attendance record, that's what that is. And you can tell it's got these cute little like coffee stains on it. <laughs> this is um, a scan of my jeans. Yeah, and then this is just some fabric that came in Happy Mail, another piece. So that was the first signature right there. And then here's the second one. Trying to go a little bit faster. There's binder paper in here. Um, coffee stained. More jeans. Uh, I believe that's graph paper or binder paper. I can't really tell. Once it's coffee stained, it's kind of hard to see. But there's another pocket. Here's another little, like, off of a postcard. I just put, like, a little tag right there for her to journal on. <laughs> Some more digital. I think those are just botanicals. Here's the tiny little tag that I made for this pocket. It is so tiny. Oh my gosh. But yep, yeah, there's a tag in there. 
This pocket is made from ledger paper, vintage ledger paper, mm -hmm, gas paper, and it just goes on and on. There's another little pocket. Um, try not to bore you to death because this is second signature. Third signature I made with the, uh, what's it called? Oh gosh. Um, not grunge paper. Uh, craft text. Yeah, so it's real thick. It's got a little bit of a digital. I think this was from Paulette. <laughs> yep, I'm sure it was because I loved that one and I had a bunch of little scraps laying around. Here's some denim paper. Um, what's this one? More of that one from Paulette. I put two little flowers in here. I looked for the smallest rubber stamps I rubber stamps I had and then I just yeah just put a couple of pieces in here. Here's a little vintage tag that um I got these cute little flag tags from I think Dawn. And I I just stamped vintage on it and just stuck that in one of the little ledger pockets. More denim, more graph paper, some lace, more of that little digital from Paulette. Here's another one from Paulette. <laughs> uh, yeah, fabric page. This was just a piece that was sitting on my desk. Another little pocket, and I put I made a tiny little denim, um, uh, just a journaling spot. It opens up like a card, and it's just tucked in that little pocket right there. <laughs> this was so hard to do. It's so tiny. <laughs> But it was fun, and I, I did have a lot of fun with this. You know, after the after I showed the picture, or the, the little sweet video, just showing it the first time, real quick video. Oh, here's another pocket right there. I didn't put anything in there. I'll have to find something. Um, uh, so many people liked it. Here's another little stamp that I uh, decided to fold in half, and that could be a journaling spot for her right here, tucked on this little, in this pocket on the side. Oh, there's a, there was a little butterfly and some flowers in there. The other side of the pink paper. More fabric. <laughs> this is the last signature right here. Anyway, so many people commented on it, and I thought, oh my gosh, I did not realize it was going to be, you know, so cute, and everybody just loved it so much. Oh, I put a coffee cup in this one. Yeah. So the lady that's um, getting this one is Caroline. Robinson Demick, I think that's her name. She lives out in Arizona. <laughs> I can't wait to send it to her. I'm going to try to get it in the mail tomorrow. Here's the other little corner tuck. This was the first one I did, and it was so tiny, I really had a hard time with it, but <laughs> the other one I kind of cheated and made it a little bigger, sewed it, and then cut it down, and then, and then glued it in. So here's another stamp that's folded in half for more of Caroline's <laughs> journaling needs. It just barely tucks in that little spot right there. And um, this was so much fun. It's amazing how much work goes into this little guy. Even though it was so tiny, you'd think it'd be easier. But I went ahead and made a stamp that says um, inspired by life and created by hand. And I signed it for you and I dated it today, Caroline. So, And then this was, you know, the original one. So it was kind of messy. That's why I went ahead and, and put that one in there. But yeah, it says Chimari Scrap Shack. I hope she loves it and enjoys it. She also asked me to put a little a hole on the spine so she can maybe hang some uh, spine jewelry on it. It's really small. I don't know what the heck she's going to be able to put on there, but this is the best I could do. It's got those little jingly bells, <laughs> which I love so much. So enjoy it. I'm going to have to say goodbye to this little cutie and make some more. If anybody's interested, you know... Uh, just leave a comment below and let me know but thanks for watching everybody and um, making this little girl famous <laughs> she's so cute I had fun showing you have a great day everybody bye